back down to Alabama to pick up another load from our farm down there um, and in order to make sure things run smoothly up here there's a few things I need to take care of um, so I'm gonna fire up the tractor and start chipping away at some of these things Yeah, so what you saw me do just right now was uh, I'm going to add some hay bales to all of the uh, pig shelters, uh, which will be getting a pretty, pretty chilly uh, cold snap coming through uh, this next week, and I'll be down in Alabama. And so uh, I like to put a hay bale kind of, you know, where any extra wind might come from. Um, it should just be cold. I don't see any uh, really rain in the forecast. Um, but it just kind of helps the pigs, um, you know, just get out of that, any wind that might happen. Um, I added a windbreak for the big pigs, the big female cooney coonies, um, and then I added an extra bale of hay just in their shelter, because it's a pretty, it's a lot bigger than the other uh, little A-frames that I have. Um, and so, just gives them a little extra, <laughs> the new dogs are, uh, finding their voice uh, gives them a little extra um, you know just insulation down there um, I'm gonna fill up some fuel on the tractor um, so we can get the rest of the products I need to get done before I head out tomorrow uh, a couple things I like to do is make sure all the feed is topped off both the uh, chicken feed and the pig feed are both running a little low so I'll get both of those topped off 
Um, I'll check all their waters to make sure they're good. Um, I think they're good, but we'll double check. And then um, I'll probably switch out all the batteries on all the energizers. Uh, I have three fully charged batteries in the little shed. And these batteries sometimes don't last a few days if there's a lot of cloud cover. Um, and you know, with it being cold and I think it's supposed to be overcast, uh, I'd rather just have all the batteries topped off to last easily as long as I'm gone. Um, and then I'll get these batteries on the trickle charger uh, inside the shop just so we have, you know, three fresh ones. Let me get this thing uh, fueled up and go on from there. I also had to run in and grab my hat because the sun was a little bright. All right, we got her uh, fueled up and uh, I'm gonna switch out the attachment on the front, put on the bucket so we can grab the food, and then uh, also run in and grab all the uh, batteries. Take them out there while, while we're at it. battery in this. I don't know if you can hear me over this guy. Hey, Red. Quiet. So I just turn it off. This one has a hinge style. Push these two tabs in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. While I'm here, I'm gonna check their water, make sure it's good, and then I'm gonna move on to the other energizer, and I'm gonna grab their feed. This style has uh, some screws that you take out and much quieter pigs. All right, where were we? Uh, the dogs go crazy unless we got some packages. Um, okay, so this one has this tray that kind of slides out. So it's in there. Come on. Like so. Undo the screws, pull that out, and then your battery slides out. You just simply unhook it. Slide the new one on. Slide it in. Okay, 
it back on. Grab the three screws that you hope you didn't lose. And then you can just boom pop it back on so far i've had more experience with the other older style uh energizers but i do like these ones a little bit better so far so two down one to go i'm gonna go check this water and then we'll do the chickens uh feed and energizer So that pretty much wraps up all of the uh, prep work I'm gonna do for my little uh, few day trip down to Alabama. Um, the waters are all good. The chickens might need to get filled, but my wife can do that while she's back here. The feed's all topped off. The batteries are good. Um, we just moved the pigs a few days ago. When I get back, we'll probably have to move the chickens. And I got all their shelters topped off with straw and little windbreak hay bales um, or straw bales so the pigs will be good chickens will be good um, yeah so it looks like uh, everything's locked down on the homestead all right thank you guys for watching good night